Reproduction. Reproduction refers to the biological process of producing offspring of the same species through sexual or asexual means. In sexual reproduction, two individuals of opposite sexes contribute genetic material to create a genetically diverse offspring. In asexual reproduction, offspring are generated from a single parent without the involvement of gametes or fusion of genetic material. Importance of reproduction. Reproduction is essential for the survival and continuation of all species, including humans. It allows organisms to generate offspring and pass on their genetic material to the next generation, ensuring the continuation of the species. Reproduction also enables the generation of genetic diversity, which is essential for the evolution of species and the adaptation to changing environmental conditions. Additionally, Reproduction plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems by ensuring the presence of sufficient populations of different species to support diverse food webs and ecological interactions. Types of reproduction. There are two main types of reproduction. 1. Sexual reproduction. This involves the combination of genetic material from two parents to produce genetically diverse offspring. In most species, sexual reproduction involves the formation of specialized cells called gametes sperm and egg cells, that fuse during fertilization to form a zygote, which develops into a new organism. 2. Asexual reproduction. This does not involve the fusion of gametes and genetic material from two parents. Instead, it involves the generation of offspring from a single parent. Asexual reproduction can occur through various mechanisms, such as budding, fragmentation, or parthenogenesis. Offspring produced through asexual reproduction are genetically identical to their parent and to each other. Advantages of sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction offers several advantages over asexual reproduction, including 1. Genetic diversity. Sexual reproduction leads to genetic diversity in offspring, which is important for the adaptation and evolution of species. The combination of genetic material from two parents produces unique offspring that can have traits that are different from both parents, allowing for greater variation within a population. 2. Elimination of harmful mutations. Sexual reproduction can help eliminate harmful mutations that may accumulate in a population. When parents with different sets of mutations mate, offspring can inherit only the beneficial or neutral mutations, reducing the chances of inheriting harmful mutations. Three. Repair of DNA damage. Sexual reproduction involves a process called meiosis, which can repair DNA damage and maintain genome integrity. Meiosis helps to shuffle genetic material and can correct errors or damage that occur during DNA replication. 4. Resistance to parasites and diseases. Sexual reproduction can also help produce offspring that are resistant to parasites and diseases. Offspring produced through sexual reproduction have different combinations of genes that may allow them to have greater resistance to diseases and parasites. Disadvantages of sexual reproduction. Although sexual reproduction has several advantages, it also has some disadvantages, including 1. Energy and time intensive. Sexual reproduction requires more time and energy than asexual reproduction, as it involves finding and attracting a mate, producing gametes and mating or copulating to create offspring. 2. Reduced reproductive rate. Because sexual reproduction only involves two parents contributing genetic material to offspring, it can result in a lower reproductive rate compared to asexual reproduction, which can produce offspring more rapidly. 3. Increased risk of sexually transmitted diseases STDs. Sexual reproduction involving multiple partners can increase the risk of spreading sexually transmitted diseases which can negatively impact the health and reproductive success of individuals. 4. Dependence on opposite sex. Sexual reproduction also requires finding and attracting members of the opposite sex to mate with, which can be challenging in some environments or for some species. This dependence on finding a mate of the opposite sex can limit reproductive success in some situations. Advantages of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction offers several advantages over sexual reproduction including 1. Faster reproductive rate. Asexual reproduction can produce offspring more quickly than sexual reproduction, as it does not require finding and attracting a mate, producing gametes, or mating with another individual. This can be advantageous in environments where conditions are favorable, allowing rapid population growth. 2. No need for a mate. Because asexual reproduction does not require mating with another individual, 
It can be advantageous for organisms that live in isolated or difficult to reach environments where finding a mate may be challenging. 3. Favorable traits are preserved. Asexual reproduction can allow for the preservation of favorable traits in a population, as offspring are genetically identical to their parent. If a certain trait confers an advantage in a given environment, asexual reproduction can allow that advantage to be passed down to future generations. 4. Low energy cost. Asexual reproduction can be less energy intensive than sexual reproduction, as organisms can produce offspring without investing energy in attracting and mating with a partner or producing gametes. 5. No genetic recombination. Asexual reproduction does not involve genetic recombination between parents, meaning that all offspring inherit all the desirable traits from its parent, and neither parent contributes traits that would be unfavorable to the offspring. Disadvantages of asexual reproduction. Although asexual reproduction offers several advantages, it also has some disadvantages, including 1. No genetic diversity. Asexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent, which can limit genetic diversity in a population. This can make the population more vulnerable to environmental changes, disease, and predation. 2. Limited adaptability. Because asexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent, it can limit the ability of the population to adapt to changing environmental conditions. 3. Accumulation of harmful mutations. Asexual reproduction can lead to the accumulation of harmful mutations in a population, as there is no opportunity for genetic recombination to produce new combinations of genes that might be more beneficial. 4. Higher risk of extinction. Asexual reproduction can increase the risk of extinction in a population, as there is no genetic diversity to increase the likelihood of some individuals surviving in the event of adverse changes in environmental conditions. 5. Inefficient at handling parasites and pathogens. Asexual populations usually end up being less efficient in handling parasites and pathogens because there's no genetic diversity that could have offered protection against them. Comparison between sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Sexual and asexual reproduction are two mechanisms by which organisms produce new offspring. Here are some comparisons between the two. 1. Genetic diversity. Sexual reproduction generates genetic diversity, while asexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent. 2. Speed. Asexual reproduction is faster than sexual reproduction as it doesn't involve finding a mate courtship or fertilization, whereas sexual reproduction is a slower process. 3. Adaptability. Sexual reproduction can increase the adaptability of a population to changing environmental conditions as it creates genetic variability while asexual reproduction limits the scope of adaptation. 4. Pros and cons. Asexual reproduction is more efficient under favorable conditions, while sexual reproduction offers a set of advantages where the environment is uncertain. 5. Population size. Asexual reproduction can drive a larger population through rapid multiplication, while sexual reproduction can lead to smaller, more specialized populations by maintaining and diversifying genetic variation. 6. Cost and reward. Sexual reproduction involves higher costs and risks, like time, energy and potential health risks, but then again, it offers a higher reward in the form of genetic variation, that can increase offspring survival rates. Ultimately, the choice between sexual and asexual reproduction depends on the environmental conditions and the particular advantages and disadvantages that each strategy provides. Cell division in reproduction. Cell division is a fundamental process of reproduction in both sexual and asexual reproduction. It is the mechanism by which new cells are generated to replace damaged, aging, and dead cells, or to produce new organisms. In asexual reproduction, a single parent cell divides by mitosis a type of cell division, to create two identical daughter cells that eventually grow into new individuals. Examples of asexual reproduction include budding in yeast, fragmentation in sponges, and binary fission in bacteria. In sexual reproduction, two parent cells, with different genetic material, fuse to form a single new cell known as a zygote. The zygote then divides by mitosis to form a multicellular organism. Sexual reproduction typically involves meiosis, which is a type of cell division that produces haploid, single set of chromosomes gametes like sperm and egg. When the sperm fertilizes the egg, they combine their genetic material to form a diploid, 
two sets of chromosomes zygote that will result in the development of a new individual. Overall, the process of cell division is essential in reproduction, providing the basis for both asexual and sexual reproduction. Chromosomes. Chromosomes are structures that carry genetic material, or DNA, in cells. They are found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells and in the cytoplasm of prokaryotes, such as bacteria. Chromosomes are composed of DNA and protein and are visible under a microscope during cell division. They come in pairs, with one chromosome inherited from each parent, and contain genes that code for specific traits or characteristics. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes 46 chromosomes in total, with the exception of the sex chromosomes, which determine an individual's sex. Females have two X chromosomes, while males have one X and one Y chromosome. During cell division, chromosomes replicate and separate into two identical daughter cells in mitosis, or into cells with half the number of chromosomes in meiosis, allowing for sexual reproduction. Changes or abnormalities in chromosomes can lead to genetic disorders, such as Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, or Klinefelter syndrome. Chromosomes are also important in studying evolutionary relationships between species, as their number, structure and distribution can differ between different organisms over time. Simple structure of a chromosome. The simple structure of a chromosome consists of a long strand of DNA molecule coiled around proteins called histones, forming bead-like structures called nucleosomes. These nucleosomes then pack tightly together to form a condensed and compact fiber called chromatin. During cell division, the chromatin fiber further condenses and folds into a characteristic X-shaped structure consisting of two identical sister chromatids held together at a central point called the centromere. The ends of each chromosome have protective structures called telomeres that help to prevent the loss of genetic information. Revision exercise. 1. Define the following terms. A. Uh, reproduction. B. Fertilization. A. Uh, reproduction. Reproduction is the biological process by which offspring are produced, either asexually or sexually, ensuring the continuity of a species from one generation to another. B. Fertilization. Fertilization is the fusion of a male gamete, sperm, and a female gamete, egg, resulting in the formation of a zygote which develops into an embryo. It is the process that initiates sexual reproduction in animals and plants. 2. Describe the structure of a chromosome. The structure of a chromosome can be divided into several levels. 1. DNA molecule. Chromosomes are made up of long strands of DNA. The DNA molecules are coiled and folded around proteins called histones to form structures called nucleosomes. 2. Chromatin. Nucleosomes are further packaged into a condensed material called chromatin. Chromatin gets further condensed and folded into compact structures, forming the characteristic chromosome shape during cell division. This compaction is facilitated by a number of additional proteins, including condensins. 3. Sister chromatids. During cell division, DNA replication results in two identical copies of the chromosomes, called sister chromatids. They are held together at a central point called the centromere. 4. Telomeres. Chromosomes also have specialized protective structures called telomeres at their ends which help to prevent the loss of genetic information and protect the chromosomes from damage. The structure and organization of chromosomes play an important role in regulating gene expression and maintaining genetic stability during cell division. Mutations or changes in chromosome structure can cause genetic disorders or cancers. Various techniques, such as karyotyping and chromosome banding, are used to study the structure and function of chromosomes. 3. State the differences between asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction differ in the following ways. 1. In asexual reproduction, only one parent cell is involved in the formation of offspring, while in sexual reproduction, two parent cells, that is, male and female, are involved. 2. Asexual reproduction leads to offspring that are genetically identical to the parent, clones while sexual reproduction results in genetically diverse offspring. 3. Asexual reproduction requires no special reproductive organs or mechanisms, while sexual reproduction involves specialized reproductive organs and requires complex processes such as mating, meiosis, and fertilization. 4. Asexual reproduction is typically more efficient in terms of the amount of offspring produced in a given time, while sexual reproduction tends to be slower and requires more energy. Five. 
Asexual reproduction is common among single-celled organisms and some types of plants, while sexual reproduction is predominant among animals and many higher plants. While both types of reproduction have their advantages and disadvantages, sexual reproduction is generally considered more advantageous because it increases genetic diversity, which enhances the capacity of organisms to adapt to changing environmental conditions. 4. Give the importance of reproduction in animals. Reproduction is critically important for the survival and perpetuation of animal species. Here are some key reasons why. 1. Continuity of species. Reproduction ensures that the genetic material of a species is passed on from generation to generation. Without reproduction, species would not be able to survive and evolve over time. 2. Population growth. Reproduction is the primary method by which the population of a species increases. If individuals failed to reproduce or had low reproductive rates, the population would decline and potentially go extinct. 3. Genetic diversity. Sexual reproduction generates genetic diversity in offspring, which helps populations to adapt to changing environmental conditions and avoid inbreeding. 4. Maintenance of ecological balance. Animal populations play important roles in ecosystems, and reproduction is necessary to maintain a balance within these ecosystems. 5. Evolution. Reproduction is essential for natural selection to operate, driving genetic changes over time that can lead to the development of new species and the extinction of others. Overall, reproductive success is an important driver of fitness and ultimately the survival of animal species.